what's up guys so redoing the snake room or reptile room more or less however you want to call it I'm gonna paint it that dark blue uh, this is part of the reason why I haven't done any videos recently I do have one before this that I'm just gonna edit and then I'll show you guys this got a lot of the racks here some of the animals aren't here uh, got another cage there some shipping boxes it's a mess anywho uh, I'll do a full video when this is all set and done and you guys can check out where the new animals are gonna be and uh, yeah what's up guys so I'm still working on getting you the monitor enclosure video I'm cleaning it out again right now he doesn't cooperate very much but I thought this would be a cool video to show you guys this too. <clears throat> just to show you guys what he does in the bathtub um, the water is about 10 inches almost to a foot deep and believe it or not you can't really tell well he's completely submerged at the bottom just chilling and he'll stay down there for about 40 minutes to half an hour and just so you guys I don't know if it'll freak him out but just so you guys can get a depth of the water Here's the surface, my finger's in it. So it goes, oh well maybe not 10 inches. It goes from the tip of my finger to about right about here. So he's just underwater. He's doing real good, nice and fat and healthy. Check out the base of that tail. He's got his uh, right back leg hooked into the drain. That kind of keeps him down planted. And there's avocado. Loves to swim. Uh, the water is about 88 to 90 degrees. I use my temp gun right now. And yeah, so I'm still working on the enclosure video, but here's a quick little video of avocado in the bathtub doing nothing, just doing what he loves to do. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks for watching. Now the caramel's locked up with the lemon blast. Just throwing the lemon blast in as backup. I'll be just rotating the super pastel on the lemon blast for her. There's a lock right there. Truthfully, I want um, lemon blast hit for caramel. But if I get lemon blast and pastel hit for caramel, oh man, I'll be headed in the right direction. I saw a lemon blast caramel albino. What a gorgeous animal. Check this out guys. Super pastel and enchi. Super pastel male, enchi female. Hopefully this works out. He's been a busy boy. All right guys, look at that. 2009 female spider. I put the leopard in. As you guys know, this was going to be my plan. Oh, look what we have here. A leopard and the spider. Can't tell you guys how happy this makes me right now. I'm going to leave them alone. But that is some really, really good stuff right there. I'm a happy guy. Thanks for watching.
What's up guys? So, here is more or less a finished product. Got the walls painted, the doors painted, and got all the snakes moved to this side. It's the female rack, the male rack, and the hatchling rack. So, get a little closer over here. The females are on, I mean, the females are on a herp stat. It says 102, but what I have is the, the thermometer. I taped the thermometer. I don't know how well you guys can see. The lighting's not that good in this room. Thermometer is taped down onto the heat tape. So it's not actually the temperature that's in the enclosure. Inside the enclosure, it's about 94 in the back. So when I put this at 102, I temp gunned everything with this. I have my temp gun. Anywho, um, <clears throat> the hatchling rack and the mail rack, since they don't have to do a night drop, I have them all set up on a helix. This one is not as strong, so I have this one at 108, and that transitions to about 95 for the snakes in the hot spot. And in the front, it's about, I think, 70s or 80s. Well, let's get an idea right now. In the front is 77. And in the back. In the back is 89. See what I mean? <clears throat> this thing says 108, but, you know, again, what I do is I tape it down to the heat tape. And here's a chocolate pin. She's a female, but uh, I have her on with the males since she's still trying to eat and grow. And those are the babies. Again. One of the babies is where I have the ivory female. So, uh, I'll go through the snakes more or less. I think what I'm going to do is uh, <clears throat> show you guys some of the females who I'm hoping that will go this year. And I'm even thinking that Enchi may go this year. I've seen her locked up. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do some more updates and try to get some better lighting up in here. But uh, this is how I have the snakes right now. Room's pretty empty. Just have the TV over here. TV, Xbox, and yeah, a lot more room to grow in here. More racks, hopefully, and. Uh, I'm gonna get a new incubator incubator so that'll be coming in soon all right guys thanks for watching